Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Yola's Selfish OS 2.0 on your Motorola Moto E second generation 3G model. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, so before going into the uh, main procedure, I recommend make sure that your device has unlocked boot or if your device don't have an unlocked boot loader, go ahead and watch the video from the link in the description so that you can know how to unlock the boot loader, then come again and follow this video. So again, this procedure will gonna be only work on a Moto E 2015 3G variant only. Do not try to attempt on any other variant. So, Go ahead and check the description box and download all of these files which is a five files that is required for this installation process and place it all of your files on your desktop. These first two files are the going to be installed the uh, drivers which is required for the installation procedure. So go ahead and first time go ahead and launch the uh, Motorola device manager and install it on your computer. So this is going to be installed the uh, Motorola drivers on your computer so which is, which is required for this installation procedure. Then go ahead and install the ADB setup, so which is a bundle with the ADB as well as the uh, fast boot drivers. Go ahead and double click on it. When you double click on it, it's going to be launched into the uh, command line environment mode. So now it's going to be ask you to install the ADB and fast boot. Press uh, type a Y and then press enter. And it's again ask you to uh, accept into the uh, system wide. So get, then press Y again. This will going to be help us to access the ADB and fast boot and drive the system level. Again, a press Y, so this will going to be installed the a traditional Google drivers which is required uh, for the device. Now it's going to be give you a prompt message, go ahead and uninstall it and allow the permission. So now we have successfully installed the uh, both uh, Fastboot and ADB as well as the uh, Motorola driver. So now these are the two ROM files, so one is a Selfish, another one is a CyanogenMod 12.1. Since Selfish has to be flashed over CyanogenMod 12.1, so go ahead and download uh, these two ROMs from the description and copy it on your SD card. So I mean only external SD. Do not try to copy it in internal storage. I recommend copy it on external OSD only. So now back to the camera view. So this is the uh, Moto E uh, 2015 3G variant. So make sure that you have the sufficient battery. As you can see, it's running on the Android Lollipop. So what you're gonna do is first go to the settings and then look for the about the phone and then you're going to find the option called a bill number at the bottom and then tap the bill number for as uh, seven times until you can see the developer options has been enabled go ahead and select the developer options and then make sure that you have turned on the developer options and here you can check the option called enable oem unlock as well as the usb debugging so go ahead and press ok and then connect your phone to the computer Once you connect your phone to the computer, so we need to flash the TWRP recovery onto this device. So what you're gonna do is wherever all the files, go ahead and hold shift and right click and you can see the option open command window here. This will gonna be open the a command prompt. Here you're gonna type the message ADB devices. When you type the ADB at devices, you can see the Demian will gonna be start. On, on the other hand, on your phone, you can see the uh, message. So go ahead and allow a permission to this computer now I'm gonna check again uh, by uh, double typing the uh, sorry uh, I'm gonna type again the ADB devices so that I can see it's a properly connected or properly there you go you can see the uh, more number that means it's indicating that the device is uh, connected properly now I'm gonna go ahead and type the command called ADB reboot bootloader then press enter so this we're going to be directly going to take into the uh, fast boot mode so when your device is in the fast boot mode at the bottom you can see the uh, USB connected message so this means the drivers are successfully installed on your computer so if you don't see USB connected so make sure that you have it to install the drivers properly now go ahead and type the command called the uh, fast boot uh, flash recovery and uh, twrp.im just going to be end with the .img and the name of that file and then press enter so this will going to be a flash the recovery on your phone so as you can see it's going to be just a five seconds that's it and go ahead and take off your usb cable 
Now use your volume keys to highlight the options. I mean press the volume down to highlight the recovery and then press volume up to continue booting into the uh, TWRP recovery. Now when you first time see this message you're going to see the allow the modifications go ahead and swipe to allow all of these modifications. Now before uh, going into the uh, installation process, I definitely recommend you to back up your existing ROM since if you don't like the uh, selfish OS and if you want to get back to the Android, so this backup will going to be help us to restore it on later on. So go ahead and back up on uh, this will going to be very very important so always a backup before trying any custom ROMs. I'm going to go ahead and select the backup and make sure that you select the three partition system, a data as well as the boot partition and a backup always onto your your external SD and then press OK and then swipe to backup so this will gonna be take a time uh, depending on the uh, writing speed of your uh, micro SD as you can see in our case is almost done and uh, once it's done go ahead and press the home button that's gonna be take to the main menu and now this time you need to uh, select the uh, wipe and then select the advanced wipe and then make sure that you select the system partition, data partition, internal storage as well as the cache partition. So make sure that you have backed up if anything is there in, inside the internal storage and this will be wipe everything. So I can go ahead and swipe to wipe. As you can see it has successfully wiped up and then go ahead and press the home button again. So now this time you can go ahead and click on install and look for the zip file that we copy to the external SD. The first you need to flash is CyanogenMod 12.1 based on Android Lollipop. So this is required because a selfish can be flashed through a CyanogenMod 12.1. So the CyanogenMod 12.1 will going to be installed very faster and just like the uh, one minute or something like that so as you can see it's almost completed and now once it's completed go ahead and uh, press the home button again so then again select the install button and then go ahead and select the uh, selfish Otis now go ahead and swipe to confirm flash so when you swipe to confirm flash uh, this procedure the flashing of this ROM will gonna be take a uh, lots of time and make sure that you do not disturb your device and be patient and it's gonna be uh, take uh, some time and once it's done I'll be right back with you Alright, so now as you can see, the ROM has been successfully flashed. So what I'm going to do is I'm click on the wipe and wipe cache as well as a Delvic. And then once you've done that, and go ahead and click on the reboot system. So this will going to be a reboot system. When you first time booting into the Yola Selfish, so your device seems to be struck at the Motorola logo. So don't worry because the Selfish OS don't have any boot animation to show at present. So it's going to be stuck at the Motorola logo and then after some time you're going to see the a welcome screen of Selfish. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly going to be set up all the screens and I'm going to talk to you about once it's done. There you go, so that's it and that's you can install the uh, YOLOS uh, Selfish OS 2.0 on your Motorola device. It's a completely uh, independent of uh, any mobile operating system. It's a completely independent, either Android or iOS, it's a totally a uh, different operating system. It's a completely a gestures based operating system. So let me quickly gonna go into settings and show you the version that is running and you click on the about product and you're gonna find the information Selfish OS 2.0 and Moto E2 and that's about it and that's how you can install it and uh, by the way if you want to uh, go back to the uh, Android and you can do it so if you don't like it and again if you want to make uh, if you want to see the a uh, what exactly is Selfish and a review of the Selfish OS uh, do comment uh, do comment in this video and I'm gonna do it for sure so now if you want to go back to the Android just in case if you don't like the selfish OS you can also do that since we have already backed up the uh, ROM that we want to go back if this all if you don't like the selfish go ahead and turn off your device once you turn off your device you need to put your device into the uh, fast boot mode so hold the power button a volume down button so that's gonna be take to the uh, fast boot mode and then use your uh, volume keys uh, to highlight each of the options volume down to highlight the recovery and press volume up to continue into the uh, recovery
Now, when you go to the breakaway, it's again going to be asked you to swipe to confirm the modifications. Go ahead and do it. Let me go ahead and adjust the brightness. It's going to be so it's a very actual, so very vibrant. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, click on the option called Restore and select Storage and choose a micro SD since we backed up into the uh, micro SD and then select the uh, backup. So that's going to be show you the date and uh, time and then go ahead and swipe to restore. So this is going to be take a time and make sure that you do not disturb anything. So and once it's done, I'll be right back with you. All right, so now once it's done, go ahead and select the uh, reboot system. So that's it. And your system will going to be completely restored back to the Android just in case if you don't like it as selfish or is. And that's about it. And if you like this video, definitely give a thumbs up. And if you don't like, dislike this video. And I will see you in my next one. Until then, bye-bye now.